if you spotted an evil eye bead there in the middle, you are right. If you want this bracelet that is both beautiful and keeps away the negative vibes, then keep watching and bid one for yourself. And here we have this beautiful bracelet that is made using this component, the component of our tutorial today. For a full length beaded bracelet, we need a few components. In this case, we have six. And uh, we get a 6.5 inches long bracelet connected with a magnetic clasp. I am using 11-0 seed beads, 15-0 seed beads. Here we have two millimeter bicones, glass bicones, and the component is made around the six millimeter bead. In this case I have used an evil eye bead. We also need the beading needle with a beading thread. In this case, I'm using a Nymo thread. We start by anchoring beads on the holes of the six millimeter bead. So we pick up one seed bead, go back through the main bead and here we have anchored one seed bead. And now we pick up one and go back up and here we have the seed beads anchored. Now I just reinforce by going back up again through the beads. And then we move the working thread out of one of the beads. Now we pick up seven beads and connect the anchors around the six millimeter bead and go back up. We start step three we peyote around the circle. So pick up one seed bead, skip one, go through the next one. Around the circle. At the last uh, stitch we step up, so we go through base one and the first seed bead added in the peyote. 
and now we are ready to start our next step here we can see that after our first peyote we have two seed beads that are in the same level and then one two and one so we have to move the thread the working thread to the single bead and now we can start the fourth step where we pick up five seed beads two four five and we connect the single beads around the circle we will get in total eight loops one two three four five and we look for the single bead and we continue one two three four five and the next middle bead or single bead in the peyote here we are at the last loop we go through the bead in the base circle and then we step up through bead number one two three and four so we will need our working thread in the fourth bead of the loop just like For step 5, we pick up one 2mm bicone and we connect from bottom up with the second bead on the next loop. So here we have the bead from the main circle and one, two, go up to the third and the fourth and come out. At the fourth bead then again we pick up one four millimeter and connect with the second bead then we move the thread through the third and the fourth and comes out okay and we repeat this around the component So pick up the 2 mm bicone, connect with the second, move the thread up the four, third and the fourth, comes out. Here we have the last one. Connect the fourth bead, pick up bicone connect with the second and we move the thread up to the third here we have our component after step five for step six we pick up one 15 two millimeter bicone 15 0 2 mm bicone 15 0 and we connect with the next bead in the middle and 
and we continue like this around the circle. And connect with the next one. And here we have our last loop. We connect with the seed bead 11 0 and then move the thread up to the middle 15 0 in between the bicons. And here we have our component. If we move the working threads on uh, one of the middle 15 0s, we'll uh, connect to another component now. And for this, the link that I, I am using is going to be a right angle weave. So I pick up one seed bead. I find another seed bead in the middle between two bicons on the other component. Pick up another 15 0 and finish the right angle weave like this. And I go back and reinforce. And here we have one connection. If we want to use these uh, components for a bracelet, I would recommend another connection here. So we have to move the thread to the next 15 0 in between the bicons, just like this. And now we connect these two. So pick up 15 0, connect with the one in between the bicons from the other component, pick up another 15 0, and finish the right angle with unit. And it looks like this. And we reinforce by going back again. After the connection is made, we just move the thread in the body of our work and we can uh, cut it or just move it on the other side for another connection with um, component. Let me show you how we attach a clasp, in this case a lobster clasp. So in total we have eight loops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two loops are used for the connection with another component and the opposite two loops, we will use them for the final clasp. With the thread coming out of one of the 15 O's, we create a loop one by picking up some more 
15 ohms that would cover the space in between these two 15 ohms and let's see how it works I think we need at least one more and one more yeah it seems to be enough and now our clasp is made out of a closed ring a jump ring the one that is opening then the lobster clasp jump ring closed ring let's uh, open our clasp and we connect we go with our thread through the closed ring the one that doesn't have any cut and we connect with the next and here we have our connection we need to reinforce this so we pick up a bead we skip the bead and go back through the base bead And again we pick up one seed bead, drop it, skip it, and go back through the last one. And now we go back and reinforce. Again, we go out the last one that we have added so we can turn around the thread, reinforce, go out through all the seed beads, including the last one. And here I turn the thread through only the first one, which is the thread that connects with the component. And then I move the thread down the body of the work. And weave in the tail. And after is well reinforced I cut the thread then I repeat the same procedure on the other side this is the easiest way to create the connection with the clasp if you want you can use this sequence of seed beans to actually make a peyote strap using that one, which could be an even count or an odd count if you want to make it uh, in a different way. I hope you like this uh, bracelet and that you find uh, this tutorial easy follow and using the same component slightly modified I have made this bracelet that uh, has as a central uh, bead an 8 millimeter one and the beads on the side some 3 by 4 
around the house. But this lovely bracelet is the star of another beading tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and get your notifications when the tutorial is published. Thank you for watching. Ciao, ciao!